one Manhattan, one Alexander, and one champagne cocktail. What did you say? One Manhattan, one Alexander, and one champagne cocktail. How long have you been working here? Today's my first day. And who asked for those high-class drinks? Them high-class jerks. One Manhattan, one Alexander, and one champagne cocktail. Bobo. One Manhattan, one Alexander, and here we have one champagne cocktail. This place is run with plants. And anybody wants to make anything out of it, spit right in his eye. Draw four. Listen, I'm looking for somebody. I'm in a hurry. Oh, in a hurry. In a hurry. Well, what can I do for you, young fella? A guy named Bobo, a dock worker. Did you see him in here tonight? It's a Saturday. I don't know if a dock worker comes in here Saturday. Look, he's a French guy. He was in here last night, too. So I didn't know him last night, either. Does that satisfy you? I don't think it will. This young man is going to be hard to satisfy. Who asked you to put in? Wise guy, eh? Well, I may be wrong, but it seems to me that you're the one who butted in. Ah, uh, yeah. Gotcha, you're tight now. Hey! Where you been? Huh? Bobo, where you been? Ah. You must know drinking with friends. Friends? Yeah. Hey, what friends? I'm sorry, but I saw no reason for asking their names. Oh, now look, Bobo. <laughs> hey, what do you do for a living? For me? Yeah. I'm a bartender. Then earn your living, give me a whiskey. But hey, not a little glass. This one. Big one. What? All whiskey? Sure, all whiskey. Yeah. Bobo. Ain't you had enough? Oh. Look, you asked me to meet you at half past eight. Well, it's half past ten now. Quarter of eleven. Yeah, well, that job. The guy wants to meet us at twelve o'clock. He's pulling out for San Diego. Yeah, but it's a good job, Bobo, a good job. You understand? Mm -hmm. That's a good duck, San Diego, good dough. Hey, Bobo, take it easy. No, not me. Now, will you let up like I tell you? Now. This is Tiny. Tiny's trouble is Harry. He wants to go away, so do I. But I'm never in such a hurry as Tiny, that's all. What's the use? I line him up for a good job and look. Hey, did it. Peter, you got a lot of nerve. Did it. You like me? Sure. Yeah, that's fine. First, we have 12 drinks. That's right, isn't it? All right, I'll take a beer. Sure. Winner. She wants two beers and I want two whiskeys. Two beers and two whiskeys. I like you. I like your dress, too. You with anybody? Well, I'm with you, ain't I? No, yeah, but I mean later. Oh, I got somebody to take me home, if that's what you mean. That's what I mean. Yeah, I got somebody. Mac always takes me. Well, maybe we can, uh, you know, we can make a plan to get rid of this Mr. Mac. <laughs> oh, I couldn't do that. Why? No, I couldn't. You don't know Mac. He's my study. He gets awful mad. And I don't blame him, darling. I'd get mad, too. Come on. Have it. This is very clever. Go and say some fella named Bobo wants to take me on. And I 
I'm going to let him take me home, huh? Who's going to take who home? Well, oh, Mac, everything's all right. Oh, this is Mr. Mac. We were just talking about you. Sit down. Have a drink with us. That's my dame you're trying to chisel, and I don't like it. Get up. Chisel? What's that, chisel? Oh, now, don't hit him, Mac. It's Saturday night. I said get up. <laughs> What's the matter with you? Come on, let's get out of here. Oh, still in a hurry, but I can't leave now. I can't live with Mr. Meg on the floor. Fix your ring. Fix your ring. Come on. Leave him alone, you. You caused enough damage. But I just want to help him. Mr. Mac, you're a good fellow. You like a girl, you, you fight for her, and that's fine. And I apologize. But I'm sorry I couldn't steal her. Let's have a drink. Come I on. don't want a drink. And I'm through with you, too. With me? Gee, Max, the guy don't mean nothing to me. You gotta believe me. Come back, don't be sorry. Me, you're the only guy in the world with me that I think to be crazy. That's the way it goes. <laughs> well, I have to drink alone. But I feel good. Isn't that right, Bill? Well, I care how you feel. What kind of whiskey you sit here? Everybody wants to fight. Oh, that's just Pop's way. He's never very friendly early in the evening. But after midnight, Pop's OK. Hey, Pop? Well? Hey, fella, fella. Hmm? You think you ought to drink that? Oh, the night is still early, my friend. This is just the start. I still have many places to go and many things to do, you know? To you, my friend. To you, my friend. And to pop. But after midnight. Think you want to drink that? 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 I told the guy yes. I told the guy no. I told the guy yes. I told the guy no. I told the guy. Drink, drink, drink.
Oh. How you feel? Bad? I wouldn't say I was feeling good. You big drinker? Yes? Yeah. Oh. Uh, is this your barge? My barge, yes. You like? Like? Why should I? It stinks. Soon you get used to that. Two or three days here, just like a breath of fresh air. But who would stay here two or three days to find out? Not me. So long, pal. If I was feeling better, I might like to know how I got here. But I'm not feeling better. Thank you very much and goodbye. No like job? So sorry. Job? What job? No remember last night? My name Henry. We meet in Chop Suey House. Drink whole bottle of sake. You say you work for me, I bring you here. You very drunk. No remember? Hey, any news? Not yet. Manhunters. George could cop. He catch him, maybe. Catch who? You know Pop Kelly? Somebody killed him last night, early this morning. Murder, yes? I never heard of him. Don't go. I give you a dollar a day and a bottle of sake. <laughs> Good day, gentlemen. Whoever done it, Henry, he didn't do much. Pop was an awful pest, especially when he was drunk. But to choke an old guy like that, he whiz. Choke? Yep. That's the way he done it. Choked him to death. Just got him by the throat and hung on until it was all over. And then he took all his dough. Oh, about 20 bucks. I give you a dollar fifty a day and about a second. They don't know who did it. You heard what he said. Choke. That's a funny way to kill a man. Yeah. Funny to some people, but not to Pop. Come on, we got three more boats to check. Oh, wait a minute. You said you brought me here? Yes, yes. And you were with me all the time? When you get here, you go to sleep. No talk, just sleep. So I go. Leave you here, there, in the doorway. You take job, I give you two dollars a day and a bottle of sake every day. Could you let me have a couple of bucks in advance? OK, OK, sure. You're a good man. Nice job, see? Just sell bait. So much, one dollar, two, two dollars. Yeah, I got it. When you sell all bait, we get some more. We go on board and get bait every night. I got it, I got it. He's got it. Come on, let's go. Good business. Nice job. Everything OK? Sure, sure. but we can't stay here to sell you bait. We have something very important to find out. And right away, now, let's go. Come on. Is Tiny here? Are you going or coming? You still owe something if you're going. I'll pay you. He's standing here. That's two days, yo. And two days you gotta pay. I wouldn't do that if I were you. Drop it. Now answer the question. He's inside in the shower room. That's better. Keep an eye on that. I'll pay you later. <laughs> What's the idea? Oh, he has to have his exercise. Sure, I'm taking my exercise. Right. Uh, cut it out, I tell you. Oh, thanks for bringing my bag. By the way, did you... Did you leave me? Leave you? Yeah. What do you mean? I mean last night. I had a good time, hmm? You did. Then you and that bait barge guy. And I liked everybody, old friends, good time. Sure. Hey, listen. Let's blow out of this jerk town. I know a fellow, we can get a ride north, Frisco. Tonight, a truck. All the time, from the Red Dot to the Chops we joined, we, we had a good time together. Sure. Don't you remember anything? Sure. Sure, I remember. It was a swell party. 
When we do it, we do it right. Listen, you big slob, we gonna grab that truck or not? Sure, why not? Yeah, but I mean it. Okay. Okay. Up north, San Francisco, Portland, you get a good duck job. It's always good for him when I get a good job. Hey, Tony. What do you mean? Don't I work? Oh, you work hard. Tiny stands in a lot of hours. Hard work. But the job is always for me, not for him. What are you doing? Kidding me? Kidding. Why? Listen, that truck leaves tonight at 10. OK. I'll be there where? Outside here. I'll be here. All right. I don't know whether you're kidding or not, but don't forget this. It's always me that gets you out of trouble. Every time. That's right. I couldn't make a move without my tiny. Well, thanks for the good deed. That towel hurt. Oh, it's nothing, nothing at all. Oh, don't take the good part away by saying that. You don't have to be ashamed. What do you want me to do? Take a bow? This world. <laughs> you know, the people in this world, when they do a good thing, maybe it would be better if they took a bow every time. Hey, this fellow outside is charging me for two nights when I enlisted one. So I guess this is worth about uh, 15 cents, huh? Eh? Looks like a couple of dollars to me. Two dollars? That's better. You see, when I do a good thing, it's pretty good. And when I do a bad thing, it's pretty darn bad, huh? Eh? Come on. Well, that's what makes horse racing. I like to hear you talk, Nazi. You have ideas. What's that girl doing? What girl? Over there. She's going in the water dressed. Come back here! Come back! Help! Help! It's over there. Help! 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 Again. How is she? She's okay, or will be, if we can get her to hold on to a little of this brandy. Give me. Go on, baby. Go on, take it. Who says so? Listen, you, you've caused enough trouble for one night. Take it. Go on, baby. Take it. Uh -oh. Leave me alone, will you? Take it, I said. Go on. <laughs> What's your name? Anna. Anna what? What's your last name? <laughs> okay. If I don't get it now, I'll get it at the station house. One or the other. Station house? The rest there? What did she do? Attempted suicide. In California, that's against the law. That's a funny law. All right, it's a funny law, but it's still a law. How about it, lady? Can you make it? And suppose I tell you she don't have to make it. No? What'll you bet? Because she wasn't trying to commit suicide. How do you know so much about it? For one thing, I was out there in the water. Where were you? You're not asking the questions. I'm doing that. And so what were you doing out there in the water? Waiting? She was. Me and Nazi were having a drink. She was waiting, and she just waited out too far. That's all. That's right. I was with him all the time. You'd swear to that. I certainly wouldn't swear to anything else. Who are you? What do you do? Who, me? Yeah, you. I got that bed barge out there for Henry the Chinaman. I run it. What makes you think you know so much about her? What she had in mind? Why shouldn't I? She's my girl. Now listen, you. I have a good mind to pop you right in the nose. Quitting out there like a kid and getting mixed up with the police. Wait till I get you home and I'll show you, Tootsie. Huh?
right, now. Come on. Where are you taking me? You, okay, you, okay. Take it easy. Tie the skip, Nazi, will you? I'll take care of it. How's the patient? Oh, she'll be all right, I guess. But she doesn't seem to be very grateful. You'll be surprised, Boba, how very often most men say that about most women. Almost as often, in fact, as most women say it about most men. It's 10 o'clock. Haven't you got a date with that fellow Tiny? Oh, who cares? That'll bother him more than it does me. No, oh, I'll drop by in the morning. I've got to go. I've got some doors to try. Doors? What do you mean? I'm a night watchman. I go around and see if doors are locked. Go around all night long. But you're up in the daytime. When do you sleep? I don't. I haven't slept since, uh... Well, I haven't slept since about 1936. Or was it 37? Good night, Bobo. Good night. Hey, I still say drink of sake would be good for you. You need strength. Why couldn't you mind your own business? Hey, 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 don't get so at me. I'm only trying to help, after all. Leave me all alone, will you? Ah, listen. I've known all kinds of women all over the world. But you're the world, believe me. I didn't expect you to say thank you. Then a man can expect a woman to feel thank you. Whoa. I don't owe you anything, see? What's more, I don't want anything. Not from you nor anyone else in this world. Oh, that's okay with me. Next time you can swim to China, for all I care. Wake him up, won't you? I'll pay him all right. Look, mister, I don't even know if he knows anything about engines. I can't seem to figure out what's the matter. It runs a few minutes and then conks. Oh, good morning. His engine stalled. Do you know anything about marine motors? I'm sorry. It uh, seems to start all right, but the minute I try to get over four or five knots, Bluey, it stalls. This is a good engine. Honey, it was until this morning. An engine like this, I'd be glad to marry. Speed her up, please. Oh. Your fuel line is blocked. Can you fix it? For a little while, yeah. Shut it up. I'll do the best I can. Where's your tools? Oh, they're right there. Right, now. Ah, oh, that sounds swell. Oh, don't let it fool you. You must get in your line. You shouldn't go out of the harbor with this one. There goes our fishing for today. This will hold you till you get in, but you must get a new wine right away. I will. How much is that? Oh, I don't know. A dollar? A dollar? It's five. 
If you want to give that much, thanks. It was worth it to me. I was stuck. Thanks and so long. So long. A fine start. I'm sorry. So cleaned up. Oh, yeah. Oh, tell me, how did this get here? I left it at the hotel and the dog, too. Nuts you bought them. Dug up these shoes for me, too. You want some breakfast? Sure, why not? Where did you get the eggs? Yeah, I got them from one of the boats. Swap bait for them. Hope it was all right. All right, it's perfect. Also, I uh, I sold six dollars worth of bait. Six dollars? Maybe that guy will take the job away from me and give it to you. Hmm? Sunny side up. Sure, sunny side up. How else? Didn't expect me to sell bait in that, did you? No, but you look funny. Yeah? You look funny in that dress, too. have to do all this, you know. Oh, I couldn't help myself. Yeah, I never saw a place up more like a dump than this one. As long as you live here, it, well, it looks like you'd fix it up or clean it so it'd look decent. Now look at that one. Curtains, fresh paint. Gee, it looks good. Like a home. There's a woman on that one. An old guy and his wife. Mm, you can fix this one up easy. Hey. Feel better today, huh? Do I? Sure you do. Sun shining, good sleep, full of food. Everything looks different. That's the way it happens. Well, you know all about it, I guess. Mm, bad breaks come to everybody. Sometimes they pile up. Looks pretty bad. And then all of a sudden you get full of ham and eggs. Sunny side up. And it's so different. That's enough for you, ham and eggs, huh? Sometimes I have to have some potatoes with them. Very funny. Ah, you take it too hard, believe me. Yeah? Oh, yeah. Yeah, well, I'm gonna tell you a few things. Maybe when I get through, you'll, you'll understand why I decided to do it last night. Why I feel the way I do. I don't care. I don't want to know anything about you. We met, I brought you here, you cooked the eggs. And if you smile a little more, I think you'd be a pretty girl. That's all. That's not all. There's a lot more, right? I don't want to hear it. Now I'm on your side. What do you mean? Next time I won't try to stop you. Is that a promise? Next time if I see you trying to drown yourself, all I'll do is pour another bucket of water on you. Is that what you want? Swimming. Here! Ah. Look 
Fish, I'll never leave this town now. <laughs> Were you afraid your old friend would be drowned? One night you get so plastered you can't leave the jerk town. The next night you're showing off for a lot of kids, pulling a no-good dame out of the water. Well, that's a funny thing, Tiny. Any dame I see, she's no good to you. Why is that? What? Tell me, why is that? Listen, are we leaving this town or not? How about you? I don't know. About me, I haven't made up my mind. Hey. I'm telling you, this dame is nothing. I found out about her. She used to work in a hash house. She has nothing to do with it. Are you kidding? Why should I kid? Two dollars a day on a bottle of sake, and the work isn't hard. In a dump like this? Well, look. What about it? Don't it look uh, nice? Just another bait porch, isn't it? You don't see any difference? Yeah. I see a clothesline hanging out. Oh, that's right. I hadn't noticed that. Clothesline with a lot of junk on it. Is that it? <laughs> Maybe. But that's a part of it, anyway. I don't get it. I dump like this, and we could be up in Portland, San Francisco. Good to... I'm blowing now. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Well, I'm much obliged for everything. <laughs> it's nothing. What are you going to do now? Pick up where I left off. Find something to do. Well, but, uh... Oh, no. I'm okay now. Well, so long. And thanks again. Good luck, Sunnyside. <laughs> Thanks. Hey. Did you wash the dishes? Yeah. Everything's fixed up. Okay. She got nothing to do with it, huh? Yeah. Goodbye, Tiny. Hey! Don't tell me you're gonna stick around here hooked by that hash wrestler. Did you hear what I said? Sure, but... And I'm getting sick of this. I said she had nothing to do with it, and that's all. You get it? Sure, I get it. Then drop it. You know, Bobo... You let your mind get back to certain things. You know what I mean. And you wouldn't be so rough with me. Oh, say that again. And make it a little plainer. So I understand you. Well, I will say this much. I'm getting tired of being the one to take the orders. I ought to be the one to give the orders. And why? Because one word from me... Mm -hmm. and but you never speak that way. You never speak that man! Nobody tells me what to do. You scum. You tell me where to go. You you speak that word. Mama like me! Got me! Get out. And stay out. It's in the cabin. I'll get it for you and we can go together. I was just packing. Oh, leaving, huh? Oh, I made as well. Two dollars a day and a bottle of sake. That's nothing for me. I see. But you know, it's funny. I'm almost sorry to go. A dirty barge like that and yet I don't like to leave. Isn't that silly? Not particularly. The answer may be that you finally found a home. Home? Me? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Why not? Let's see, my friend, you're a smart man. Maybe you, you even went to college. Maybe. You know a lot of things, 
But when you speak about home, you don't know me, believe me. I'll tell you, all my life, others have attached themselves to me like, uh, like Tiny and the dog here. But I've attached myself to nobody. No place. I'm free. I'll never be tied down. Never. Perhaps. I'm only pointing out why I think you hate to leave here. A gypsy is dying, and a peasant is being born. <laughs> so I'm turning into a peasant? Mm -hmm. Oh, you're wrong. But tell me, why is this gypsy dying so quick? Who knows? Anything might have done it. A word remembered from a dream. There was a sight of some washing on a line. Or most likely, something you saw in this pathetic child. Sunny side. Is it all right? Sure, it's all right. It's nice to see you again. We didn't mention your name, but Nancy and I, we were thinking about you. Yeah? Yeah. Go on. Chair for the lady. Yeah. You changed the whole atmosphere of the place. You cheered it up, frightening. Oh, yeah, I'll bet in this outfit. <laughs> Is this all right? Gee, service, huh? I want you to be very comfortable, always. <laughs> I got some doors to try. Good night, you two. Good night. Night, that's it. again. Bobo. What is it, Bobo? What did I do wrong? You didn't do anything. You were swell again. And I like you very much. No, but it's time for me to go, that's all. But why, Bobo? Well, because I'm not a man who can stay long in one place. I'm not a peasant. I'm a gypsy. And I have no intention of dying just yet. Wait a minute, Bobo. You aren't making any sense. Ask Nadzi when you see him. He'll tell you all about it. Bye, Anna. Good luck. Yeah. 
baby. <laughs> I'm awful glad you came back. Well, yeah? I thought about you a lot. Every time I put on this dress, I thought about you. I like it. Well, where the... Some more music and press all the buttons. I never see that Mac no more, you know. That's good. We broke up ever since that night. He's a dopey kind of guy. I should have given him the air long ago. With a fellow like you, it's different. A girl wouldn't have any trouble falling for a fellow like you. What's the matter, Bobo? What is it? What's the matter, Bobo? What's happened? I like this one. You like it? Yeah. I like it, too. How much is it? Ten cents a yard. Well, how much do we want? About, uh, 50 yards? Oh, no. We could wrap the whole barge up in 50 yards. Let's see. About ten. No, no, it's not enough. How much you got there? 26 yards. Well, we'll take it all. I like a lot of it. <laughs> okay, what's left over? I'll make pillow covers. Anything else? Oh, well, uh, paint. You got paint? What color? Blue and white? Yeah. Blue and white. Blue paint and white paint? No, one paint. Blue and white. One paint, one color. I don't understand. A joke, see, but it's over his head. Yeah, his and mine, too. Well, yeah. <laughs> any better curtains in the warehouse. You know, I think they could stand some kind of a trim. Has the United got any trim? Yeah, a little blue border. Okay, tomorrow we get blue border. <laughs> ah, you know, it's not bad at that. Oh, uh, you, you want blue border here too? Oh, sure, all over. Well... Gives me a feeling I never had before in my life. Home? Is that it? Oh, uh, I guess you know. Hmm? 
Hmm? No, what? We'll get married. Do you want to? I mean, honest. Don't you? Oh, look, Bobo. You don't have to, you know. Oh, I wouldn't hold you up or anything like that. Don't say that, Anna. Ever. Oh, gee, don't get sore. I didn't mean anything. Listen, when I'm going to be married with my wife, it must be different. You understand? Yeah. Other girls, well, who cares? But with my wife, the license, the priest, and the honeymoon. Yes, Bobo. Then the wife is different. That makes her the wife. The wife is the one you go on the honeymoon with after the marriage. Oh, gee. I, I don't know whether to laugh or to cry. Cry, cry. For what? Because I want everything right? Oh, you crazy nut. Come here. Can I kiss you? Is that against the rules? Kissing is OK. Hey, 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 hey. Some kissing. But not all. Oh, Bobo. Finish? Yeah, thank you. Should knock, yes? So sorry. Two day, two bottles sake, all right? Yeah. yeah but I got a partner now. Oh, partner. Good to have partner. Very good. Good for you, good for me. Yeah? She doesn't drink. Oh, too bad. Maybe you teach. Oh, no, never mind. Uh, somebody's got to be able to count these fish. Well, listen, from now on, instead of a bottle of sake already, how'd you like to pay me another dollar? No sake? No. Three dollar a day? Yeah. Okay. That's it. We're in the door already, huh? Uh -oh. <laughs> Very good. You need some more bait? Hey, we better hustle. This guy ain't got a sardine left. Good business, yes? Goodbye. Blue borders. Hey. You need some help? Sure, we can always use help. Well, I'll go with you. Yeah, sure you wanna? I'm sure I don't want to, but I'm going. <laughs> I'm going out after bed. If that's what you want. Oh. I already answered that one. We do it right. Hmm? Sure. Bride and groom. Bride and groom. Well? Oh, I love you, Bobo. I, I love you. I really love you. Oh. Hey, make up your mind, will ya? Okay. 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 <laughs> You're a funny guy. Yeah, maybe you're right. <laughs> That's Bobo, huh? Yeah. And he won't be back. Oh. He won't be back tonight, huh? That's right. And I'm not at home either. Hey, wait a minute, wait a minute. What's the rush? Now listen. Where's that sucker he's been talking about? Oh. Go on and take it with you. 
How about running that dog out of here? You run him. You know him better than I do. And evidently, he knows you, too. Listen. What about you leaving for somewhere? Huh? Why don't you blow? Sure. You beat it? Sure, anything you say. Any time a guy comes along, I don't know him from Adam, but anything he says do. I do it, of course. Huh. One of them smart dames. Not dumb. Tough, huh? Why don't you come around when Bobo's here and ask him? I don't have to. Look, am I in your way? Is that it? Yeah. Yeah. You're in my way and you're in Bobo's way. Oh. Oh. A big O, a capital O. Like a rope around Bobo's neck. Look, I'm tired. I don't know what you're talking about. And what's more, I'm not interested in finding out. Now, how about taking that bottle and beating it? I'll make you a present of it. You got it wrong. You don't want to beat it, not me. OK, OK, I'm the one to beat it. Now, does that satisfy you? Do you ever hear of a guy named Pop Kelly? Pop Kelly? Yeah. He was choked to death the other night. Yeah, I remember. So what are you going to tell me now? Bobo did it? I didn't say that. What are you getting at? I don't know who done it. But I know a guy that could have. You do? For a long time, this guy and me was buddies. A long time together. And he's a very expert dock workman. And up north in Portland or San Francisco could make a lot of dough. You listening? Sure. Well, he don't make much dough down here. And he ain't much of a buddy anymore. Besides, it wouldn't be so good if someone picked him up for murder, would it? I don't know what you're talking about. Maybe he did it and maybe he didn't. Who knows? Outside of me. And him? No, just me. That's the way he drinks. And that's why I say you're the one to beat it and let my buddy and me pull out together and go up north. See? Yeah. I'll tell him. Yeah. Maybe you'll have to. Because maybe he don't know about it yet himself. Thank you, Bobo. It's a pleasure in the old time. What's the matter? Mm, I just wasn't sleepy. You all right? <laughs> sure. I'm all right. Just wasn't sleepy, that's all. Thinking about our wedding? Is that it? Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Well, the room, the room is, uh, is sleepy. The bride, she can sit up and think, but the room is sleepy. You need some rest. Bobo. Yeah? Who is Tiny? Tiny? Yeah. What's he to you? What do you hang around with him for? Why do you ask? Has he been here? No. No, I only met him that once the other day. I was just curious, that's all. something I oughtn't to, Bobo? No. No, I said I wanted everything right, so... I must tell you everything about uh, Tiny and me. Listen, Nana. When I was young, uh, a kid, I was very strong. 
And near where I lived, there was another kid. He was my cousin. And one day, the police came and arrested my father. He was a thief, my father. But he was my father. And when my cousin laughed and said things about him, I jumped on my cousin. I grabbed him by the throat and choked him. Choked him till his face changed color. And if some other kids hadn't pulled me away, I'm sure I choked him to death. I can't forget it. Bobo, that's not so much. You just lost your temper when you were a kid, that's all. We all do that. Yeah, yeah, perhaps, but it's only the beginning. I told you I had strong hands. Very often they brought me jobs and money, but they also brought me trouble. Bad trouble. Because when I get drunk, I can't remember what I do. It's just your temper, Popo. Wait, wait, wait. Two years ago, Tiny and I... Tiny? Yeah. We were working on a boat. We went ashore. I got drunk and I got into a fight. And there was another man. Oh. Yeah. But he came at me with a knife. I, I got my hands. It's all mixed up in my mind. So Tiny got me away. He was sober. So now, you see, I have to know where Tiny is all the time. You think I helped him because I am grateful. But he isn't that. It's, it's because uh, he's weak. I can't trust him. And that's all. Now he wants me to go away up north to get a job. That's the way it is. Always get a job and give him a little money to keep his mouth shut. He isn't greedy, just enough so he won't have to work. And that's all, Bobo, huh? Yeah, that's all. Except that now I don't want to go away. I want to be with you. But I'll talk to him, make him understand, explain what all this means to me. Yeah. Yeah, we can both give it money if we have to. <laughs> We're partners, you know. <laughs> you don't have to worry. I'll fix it. Tiny will understand. He isn't bad, just... just weak. Sure. We'll fix it. Old Brian and Room, they'll fix it. Mm. Just watch us. So we have time for a few items of local interest. Down San Pablo Way, the Pop Kelly murder is still the big topic of discussion. And while the police say they have a number of clues, the strangler is still at large. As if we didn't know. Oh, please, Charlie. What? Select something. Make a selection and stick to it. I don't care if it's bad, but just stick to it. That's all we want, isn't it, Henry? Oh, yes. Ah, oh, there's nothing good on now, anyhow. I think the house will buy a drink. <laughs> a night like this. This is the kind of a night the bartender drinks up all the profits. Toast? A toast, he says. What about a that? toast by all means. And by all means, a toast to the bride and groom. Bobo! That's right. They're going to be hitched tomorrow. I forgot all about that. Bobo is a very happy man. I'm going to a wedding, yes. He asked me to. Myself, I'm to be the best man. Well, how do you like that? Best man and everything. Ha! High society, Their huh? health, gentlemen. Their health and their happiness. I hope it clears up. This time of the year, if it isn't fog, it's rain. And if it isn't rain, it's fog. Sunny California. <laughs> That's a laugh. What's yours? I don't know. I want to think it over. But he's a good guy, that Bobo. And whether he is or not, I like him, and that's good enough for me. Hey, that's right. He's a buddy of yours. Have a drink. I told you I want to think it over. That's all right. This is on the house. We're drinking to your pal, Bobo. 
Why? Uh, why? Uh, Charlie, uh, where are those pretzels? He don't know why. Didn't he tell you? I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, perhaps we'd better leave it to Bobo to explain. You know, under the circumstances, Bobo might want to tell Tiny himself. Listen, funny looking, what are you, trying to change the subject? Me? Yeah, you. What's this about Bobo? What's he fixing to do? Why, uh, did you ever hear of a pilot fish? Yeah, I heard of a pilot fish. Why? You know, a pilot fish is a little fish that attaches itself to a shark. The shark does the work. The pilot fish just hangs on and enjoys a nice living hanging on. See what I mean? What is it? A guy's going to get married. Tells everyone he meets. What's the secret about it? What's it got to do with pilot fish? Oh, married? Him and that hash hustler? Yes, and the best of luck to both of them. Sure, sure. And if I might make a suggestion, why don't you start looking around for another shark? Maybe I won't have to. He ain't married yet. And he's a mighty changeable guy, this Bobo. I'll have that drink now. Especially if a friend whispers a word or two in his ear. For his own good, I mean. No need to be so nervous, Bobo. You know, men have been going through the wedding ceremony for a long, long time. But I have a present for her in the cabin, a wedding present. I had it all fixed up. Why can't I go and give it to her? I told you before, Bobo, you're not supposed to see the bride before the wedding. It's an old custom. I never heard of it, never. Well, there are a lot of things you never heard of, Bobo. So it seems, against the law to commit suicide, against the law to see the bride... No, against no, the law no, to... not against the law, just against custom, tradition. No law against seeing you after the wedding, I hope. Well, none that I recall. You know, the customs, Bobo... Well, the custom after the marriage, that I know. You know you're supposed to pick it up and carry her across the threshold, don't you? Yeah, that's what I heard of. But what about the minister? He'll be here, Bobo. He'll be here. The Reverend Wilson's always prompt. He'll come from over there in his launch. He has a launch, you know, to carry him around and call on his parishioners. Oh, look, the Simpsons. Uh, do I go meet them or wait? What's the custom about that? We can wait. It's going to drop it if you don't look out. What's that? The record for the photograph. I got the photograph yesterday and I was afraid to bring the record. I didn't want to take a chance and look at him. Now, will you stop worrying about it? But who's worried? But look at him, carrying it under his arm. He should carry it in his hand. Hello, Miss oh. Hello, Mrs. Simpson. It's very nice of you to come to my wedding. Thank you. I'll take the record. <laughs> okay. You know Nazi? Right. Yeah. 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 Hello, Nazi. I'll put it inside. Oh, yeah. you can do that. I told you. Oh, Nazi says it's a custom that the man doesn't see the bride before the wedding. Oh. I'll take it to her. You stay here and chew the fat, and I'll help her. Uh, be careful. Oh. <laughs> What'd you say her name was? Anna. Anna? Yeah. Another guest, the bartender, Charlie! Hello, Charlie! Hello! Henry, how are you? Happy wedding, yes? He thinks it's like Christmas. Saki for toast! Congratulations, Bobo. <laughs> what a beautiful day for a wedding. Yeah. Yeah. And this will make it better. I'm going to get the glass. Oh, no. Oh. Did you have to wait around without seeing Mrs. Simpson? Well, now, I'll tell you. Happy days. Good luck. Lots of kids. Thanks, thanks. Where's the minister? He'll be here. 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 Oh, there's that cruiser again. Dr. Brothers. Nice chap, they say, with his own share of troubles. Did you invite him? No, no. He seems to be having difficulty with his motor. Huh, if he expects me to work on my wedding day. <laughs> Nothing left to do but to pull in again. 
Yes, the Reverend Wilson's boat now. I'll go and meet him. Oh, you're not going to leave me it's now. It's all right. It's all right. Now, when he's ready for you, I'll give you the signal. Yeah, but listen. Uh, Thank you very much. Hey there. I'm in trouble again. It ran so well, I got careless. I'll have to ask you to help me out again. I'm sorry, Doctor, but I can't work for you today. You can't? No. Oh. Am I busting in on something? No, no, just that I'm getting married in a few minutes. Are you really? Well, congratulations. The young lady the other day? Hannah. Yeah, Hannah. Splendid. I, uh, I hope you'll both be very happy. Thanks. Thanks very much. Let's see you, Reverend. How are you, Nancy? Five more minutes and the groom would have swooned. <laughs> <laughs> Very well. We'll put him out of his misery at once. Hello, boys. Hello, sir. How are you? Good you are here, you. yes? All right. Well, where's the groom? I'm afraid I can't very well get out of here now. Uh, do you mind a couple of uninvited guests if we behave ourselves? That's all right, yeah. Oh, uh, afterwards I have a case of champagne below if I might give a little party. <laughs> Are you ready, Reverend? <laughs> We're ready. So are we. All right, Anna. God, send thy blessing on these thy servants, this man and this woman, whom we bless in thy name, that they may live according to thy laws and ever remain in perfect love and peace together. Those whom God hath joined together, let no man put asunder. For as much as Bobo and Anna have consented together in holy wedlock and have witnessed the same before God and this company, I pronounce that they are man and wife. May the Lord mercifully look upon you with all his favor and fill you with all spiritual benediction and grace that you may so live together in this life that in the world to come you may have life everlasting. Amen. Congratulations, Anna. Congratulations, Bobo. Congratulations, Bobo. Congratulations, Bobo. With all this celebration, my friend, I'm afraid some of the guests might bite you. Get the glasses, Nutsy. Get the glasses. That's it. Put them down here. I've changed my mind, Doctor. I'm married now and I can use a lot of money. We'll take the boat out and fix it right. I wouldn't think of asking you to work today. Oh, what is it? 10 or 15 minutes. And Anna wants me to do it. She said, OK. Well, it seems a shame. Ah, no. no. And I'm glad for the chance to make the money. And it's only the afternoon, you know. If you don't mind, Frank, I think I'll go ashore. All right, if you'd rather. Is there anyone here who can take me ashore? The, the Reverend Wilson is going in. He'll take you. Uh, wait a minute, Reverend. We have a passenger. Goodbye, friend. Shall I call you? If you wish. If you decide. Ready? Oh, I'm sorry. Yes, let's go. Oh, Jimmy. Cast up. money here, a little money there, and pretty soon I'll be a very rich man. 
I take it that you're already a very happy one. Hey, <laughs> you could take it that way. Well, speed the motor, please. Ah, ah, as long as you're nice to an engine like this. <laughs> oh, get it, get it, get it, quick, quick. By the way, you've neglected this engine. You should be put in jail. What is it? Is it bad? Bad, bad. Sure, it's bad. I'll be lucky if I can fix it before dark. What do you think, Nazi? Well, the job took a little longer than expected, that's all. He'll be along presently. No, thanks. What do you suppose is in it? Open it. I think you should. Well, you don't think you'd be sore without him here, do you? I don't think so. I have an idea. Okay, if you say so. Where do you suppose he got it? From a young woman named Mildred. Mildred? Hostess in a duke joint. Oh. Gee, it's a pretty snazzy, huh? Well, I can only point out that when Mildred wore it, she didn't lack a certain popularity. I'll bet. I hope you're not going to dismiss the message in it too quickly. Message? What message, Nancy? Anna, the most overrated item in the whole catalogue of marital virtues is modesty. Yeah? There's no doubt whatever about it. Modesty is for the outside world, for the streets, the marts of trade. Not for the home. Nazi? How much of that sake did you put away? None. Would you consider this? When day is done, and the weary husband wends his way homeward. Do you imagine for a moment he's looking forward to a demonstration of outstanding modesty to take his mind off his troubles? I don't think so. The average man's day is stuffy with modesty. At home, it should be different. Otherwise, he might be tempted to go out somewhere where it wasn't so highly esteemed. Like the red dot. Boy, you sure can pour it out. Well, that's the message. Now, honest friend's charming little wedding gift. A message that a young bride cannot consider too carefully. Well, I've got some doors to try. Good night, Anna. Good night, Nancy. And thanks. You get it? <laughs> It's a simple aim, merely to make the home at least as attractive as the Duke joint. Get out of here, you dog. <laughs> Good night. Sorry, I'll let you start it. Oh, isn't it your fault, Doctor? Anyway, it's fixed now. Bobo, Nazi said you only met Anna a few days ago. Yeah, that's right. Well, tell me, how do you know whether you love a woman or you don't love her? <laughs> that's a funny question. Why do you ask? Well, I... I have a reason. Oh, that woman was with you? No, not her. My wife. I see. Go ahead and answer me, Bobo. How could you tell so quickly that you loved Anna? There's no way to explain it. Nobody can explain love, Doctor. And you know, uh, all my life I knocked around the world, but I thought I was a great guy. And then I met Anna. Go on. Well, we understand each other. We share a few words, a few thoughts. Well, only half a dozen, maybe. But that's a lot, you know. And, uh... I looked into her eyes, she looked into mine. And when you were in love, that's the way it happened. I just knew, that's all. But 
But when you find somebody like that, you hold on very tight, because you may never find another. Well, I see. You hold on very tight. I guess I forgot to do that, Bobo. But it's not too late. Not even now. <laughs> That's the idea. I fix your boat, I fix your wife. Anything else? <laughs> Drunk? Listen, baby. You ain't talking to just anyone, remember? You're talking to a guy who knows the answers. One, anyway. What do you want? What? It's Bobo's wedding, ain't it? But nobody asked me. Bobo's best friend. But nobody asked me. Well, I'm here anyway. So how's it about breaking out with a drink? Okay. Help yourself. You help me. Hmm. Pretty cute, huh? You was going to untie that dog, wasn't you? Dog's doing all right where he is. Someday somebody's gonna put a slug in that dog. Good thing. On second thought, Tiny, I'm kind of glad you came. I got something I want to talk to you about. Anything you want to say, baby, say it. Well, well, we got married today, you know. Bobo and me. Nobody asked me. Bobo's best friend, nobody asked me. Well, what I'm getting at is, uh, Bobo's been, uh, well, kind of helping you out, hasn't he? You're doing the talking, honey. Well, it's this, Tiny. We want to stay here. We want to have a home. You see? Sure. Who don't? Well, if, for instance, you got from Bobo what you usually got, well, then it wouldn't make any difference where you got it. San Francisco, New York, Denver, just as long as you got it, would it? You ain't such a bad-looking little number at that. You get the idea, Tiny. So much a week, money. Well, not much, but, well, as much as Bobo gave you anyway. But you wouldn't have to stay here about it, would you? That wouldn't make any difference, would it? Come here. You don't have to be scared about it, baby. I ain't such a bad guy, you know. I know you're not, Tiny. That's what Bobo said. Tiny's all right, he said. When he understands. That Bobo ain't so dumb. You ain't either, baby. A smart kid like you could do a lot for Bobo, if you're really smart. Please, Tiny, listen to me a minute. Listen to me. Y you got to understand. You're going to be smart or not. Hey, don't, Tiny, don't! Stop it! Stop it, Tiny! Oh, doctor, you know the custom? You take the bride in your arms, and you carry her across the threshold. Tradition. <laughs> Go on, get out of here. You want to play hard to get? That's all right with me. Wait until Bobo hears about you trying to get fresh. Fat chance. Who's going to tell him? You? Fat chance. Remember, baby, we got a secret about Bobo. You and me. 
Ain't neither one of us want to break it. You wouldn't want me to tell him, would you? Just get out of here, that's all. Would you? No, 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 get out of here. All right. Remember what I tell you. Bobo kill Pop Kelly. I know it. You know it. Right? I don't know it. You know it all right, because I told you. Yeah. You told me. Yeah. Wait a minute. You know so much about it. You know so much about what Bobo did. Where was that dog? Where was he with? You know so much. Where was he? That dog I'm talking about. If Bobo fights, that dog fights. You can't hold him off. He fights for Bobo. So why wasn't he bitten that, Kelly? Why didn't somebody say he had dog bites on him? You know so much. Because Bobo didn't do it. He wasn't even there. He wasn't there and the dog wasn't there. Crazy. You're crazy. Yeah, crazy to listen to you, that's it. You know so much. You know everything about it, don't you? You did it, that's why. You're crazy. You killed him, Tiny. You killed him. Some of this is a wedding present. Oh, but fifty dollars. Don't argue. I have reason to be very grateful to you. But I, uh... What's the... Anna! What's the matter? Anna. Anna? <laughs> Anna, where are you? Stop that motor, quick. Anna, it's been an accident. Anna, do as I tell you, stop that motor. Anna! don't know yet. She said one or two words, couldn't quite get it. Tiny something. Tiny? Well, that's what it sounded like, tiny. It means something to you? No. No. I won't fool you, Bobo. It's a long chance. Awfully long chance. But you'll save her, won't you? I'll do everything I can, Bobo. I'll wait here. Oughtn't you to stay with him? I imagine it's something personal. Hey, fellas, look who's here! The bridegroom! <laughs> <laughs> What's the matter, locked out? You seen Tiny? Tiny? I ain't seen him, Bobo. Happy honeymoon to you, Bobo. Bobo. <laughs> Good luck. Good luck. Tiny. I ain't seen him tonight.
Oh. Yeah. Come here. Papa. Come here. It was an accident. She fell. I didn't do it, Bobo. Won't you listen to me? Won't you believe me? Bobo. Wait, tiny, wait. Bobo. You gotta believe me, Bobo. I didn't do it. back yet, Doctor. I have sent for a specialist from Los Angeles. Bad? About the same. But I'm hopeful, Nutsy. There are signs. She's young and she may fight through, even though it'll be a very long, hard pull. Los Angeles is calling, Dr. Brothers. Thank you. It's good news. Dr. Brothers is very encouraged. You, uh, you must understand it will take weeks, months, maybe. But she's going to live, Bobo. I know it. Bobo, you found him? Got a match? Take it easy. <laughs> oh, you crazy nut. Yeah, I may not be very careful, but... Oh. oh, it's swell. Bobo, you sure you want me like this? Hello, Anna. Hello, Bobo. 
So long, you two. Goodbye. Goodbye, Nazi. Goodbye, Bobo. Goodbye, Anna. Thank you and come back. Anytime. We will. Won't we, Doc? Mon amour. What? Tomorrow I'll show you everything. Where you sit on the day, where you take the money, where you run the whole business. But now there is a custom, you know, tradition. The groom lifts the bride over the threshold. <laughs> <laughs>